that's the Thai pair. Both these pairs are ranked at 19 and 21 respectively with the Thai pair at 19 and the Malaysian pair at 21. On my left, John Anong, Punchala, Thailand. Dean Christopher to Punchala, Lobo, Hey. Malaysia's pair serves and straight away gets a point. Service over. One, oh. Losing the service. It's one apiece. Remember, it's rarely scoring system to 21. And there's only one serve. 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. In favor of Thailand. Out. Service over. Each serving side only gets one service for this new rally scoring system. For those of you who are still a little unaccustomed to this scoring system, this is how it works. Just one server. The points climbing fast in this first set. It's a race to 21. Thailand's pair taking four points already. And Malaysia's pair closing the gap 3 4. What an erroneous serve there, perhaps trying to trick the receiver at the other end. Service over. 5 4. Six, four. Thailand getting the points very fast on your screens there in red. Oh, that was a good return, creating confusion among the Malaysian pair. Sending all the way to the baseline. It looks like they're trying to attack one player, but that's the player who's come up with a good smash. That's Lim. 5-7 to Malaysia. Forced an error to pick up another point. 6-7. Lim and Chor of Malaysia. First set. Round of 64. Women's doubles. Good drive, right straight at a player to force a point. Both these, cup, uh, both these pairs, very close in terms of ranking, with the Thailand duo having a slight advantage in ranking, just two spots higher. But Malaysia's pair of uh, Lim and Chor now take the lead for the first time in the first set. 8-7 to Malaysia. Center court smash that gives absolutely no chance whatsoever to the Thai pair. And it's two more. It's two point cushion lead for Malaysia. But given away poorly with that waist high short service very tricky once you lose your confidence you just cannot get it over the net but it's a good kill to win service back to the Malaysian court 10-8 another power smash well returned nice night play good return by the ties power drive Nothing the Malaysian pair can do but return to the back court. And this is a good long rally. Just waiting for a mistake to happen and it has happened. When you keep up the pressure against your opponent, this is what happens. You force errors on your opponents. And that's exactly what the Thai pair have done. It's 9-10 service in favor of Thailand. The Thai sending it back. A backhand smash from Malaysia didn't work out. 
and that's a good drive right to the end to take service and a point two point cushion two point lead 11 9 malaysia to serve and we're at the halfway mark this is where players have a chance to have at least a minute's break a chance for them to have a word with their coaches their respective coaches and perhaps see and get an earful of what the coaches have seen that they have been doing incorrectly and try and adapt and adopt the new way of the corrected way of play well he's always touch and go where doubles is concerned fast play pressure play and of course super fast smashes first mistake on the return giving Thailand's pair a chance to catch up 10-11 Thailand serving oh that was a little unfortunate for the Thai pair because Malaysia's limb just couldn't get to it in time. But Chaw looks like she has done this service to a partner by just giving away that point with a short service. And now they have to contend with heavy defensive play. Both sides probing each other, trying to get the other side to play defensive finding a chance where they can just force an attack and that was a chance which was given away by a drop shot and that's a powerful smash a very good play there very fast and very good from the Malaysian pair we were just quite amazed that uh, the drop shot came when she could have killed it earlier limb of Malaysia that's the way to go a backhand smash at the net, net smash giving her and her compatriot another point, 14-11. Ah, that's a little eagerness coming from the young lad, or should I say young less from Malaysia. If you just tune in, this is the first set, Malaysia leading 14-12. Good rally from both sides. Good reflexes, confusing the Malaysian pair a little somewhat. A good recovery and just a little unlucky for Malaysia's pair sending the ball out at the sideline giving Thailand a point it's Chaw who is uh, just a little unfortunate having the shuttle catch the frame of the record over there 13-14 now moves on to 14 apiece with the mistake on the return from Malaysia however they get one back as the Thai pass seems a little generous in returning the favor. So Malaysia continue to lead 15-14. First set. Sending it long, giving Thailand another point. 15 apiece. Six points to go. The race to 21. First set. Both sides looking every bit the winning pair. Good overhead smash. The second smash wasn't powerful enough from Malaysia. So therefore the rally continues again continuing to probe very nice net play and a good kill from malaysia's chore malaysia versus thailand 16 15 first set a chore to serve Good protection around the front of the net. Unfortunately, the cross court returned. By Kunchala. Just couldn't be foiled by Malaysia's chore. 
mistakes coming to the surface for the Malaysian pair now. They need to regroup fast. They've had the lead several times, given it away. And that's a very, very unfortunate backhand smash right across the face of the net. This is what usually happens when you have nerves, perhaps a little eager to kill the shuttle. Now giving the lead back to Thailand. 18-16. Thailand to serve. Another poor return. Giving the Thai pair another point with a five-point cushion. Game point for Thailand. The Malaysian pair of uh, Lim Pek Xia and Cho Hui Yi started off well but looked a little in disarray after the 10 point mark, after the halfway mark. Three points to catch up. Can the Malaysian pair do it? Umpire has called a fault. Umpire said there's a fault. It could be a double fault because the, the player in front touched the shuttle before the second player returned. So it's game to Thailand. 21-17 first set to the Thai pair of Duang Anong Arun and Kunchala Vorawi Chit Chaiku. Second set. Second game. Lava. Play. Service over. Malaysia serve. Service over. One. It's lock. Thailand serve. And Malaysia gets the first point. And here a little grunt coming from Chaw. She's a little unhappy with herself. Taking it very hard. Making an unnecessary error. Forcing it Service all the way two, out to the baseline. 2-1 to Malaysia though. Good start just like in the first set where Malaysia led. Backhand smash just couldn't kill it from Thailand. Malaysia sending all the way to the back. Chance to kill, didn't kill it. Now a return to the baseline. Service over. Two all. It's service over. I'm not sure whether the shuttle went out or it hit the player. It was Chaw who was at the corner. But it's two apiece anyway. Three, two. 3-2 Alright, that was over. short Service over oh. It's a tricky game this Especially the serve You need to get it into this Left and right squares Properly Otherwise it will be short or long Power smash from the time In the end, it's a little long. So Lim and Chaw pick up a point, 4-3. Bad return, giving Lim and Chaw another point, 5-3 to Malaysia. Ah, a center court lob, leaving absolutely no chance for a return. Thai serve. No, 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 no. Seems to be a little bit of confusion out in the serving for the pair from Thailand. This is of course with the new rules, the alternate servers, although there's one service when you retain the shuttle, but when the shuttle returns to you next, it changes server. 
and then you have to remember which box you're supposed to serve from. 6-5 in favor of Malaysia. Can they pick up another point here? It's in apparently. So Malaysia's pair lose the serve. It's six apiece now. Thailand to serve. Beautiful cross court Seven, six, shot that got it right smack in the empty space that the Malaysian duo have allowed in, while trying to defend near the, the left side of the net. It's service over, so Malaysia get another point. It's seven apiece. This is looking more and more like a wire-to-wire -wire finish. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful push from the Thai to rest the service back. 8-7. They seem to be in control until that error. They seem to have had the Malaysian pair defending from the centre part of the court. But now Malaysia have to serve. It's eight apiece. Just by a couple of inches, the shuttle goes out, so Thailand picks up another point. 9-8. A good push, way back to the baseline. Nine apiece. It seems like whoever pulls away more than two points will have a pretty good chance of winning. And that's an unforced error Ten, for the five. Thai doubles player pushing it out. Giving Malaysia a point and a psychological advantage. At the halfway mark, Malaysia leading 10-9. Nice drop shot. Good drive. And a nice kill. 11-9 interval. It's an interval. That's a nice kill from... Limpixia at the halfway mark it's 11-9 Malaysia leading by two points if you just tune in welcome aboard this is the live coverage of the first day of action of the IBF World Championships Badminton 2006 coming through to you from Madrid Spain um, September 18 to the 24th Yes, if you've checked your dates, this is the first day of the action. We're picking in the pictures coming in from the TV court. That's what we call it in the broadcasting world. There are actually four courts in action. We get to tune in to the action from what we call the TV court. Currently playing Malaysia's Limpixia and Cho Hui Yi versus Thailand's Duong Ana Haru and Kunchala Vora Richard Chai Ko. Second set, Malaysia leading 11 9. Good reflexes and a good return from Malaysia. 12 9. Malaysia need to pull away, need a victory in this uh, game to bring it to rubber. Ten twelve, and that's in. Thailand claws 11, their way back. 11-12. Center smash. Just didn't work. Sending it to the baseline. Good power smash there. Just got off guard. So Malaysia get another point. It's 13-11. Fourteen, eleven. 
Well, she saw that line of where the shuttle was going allowed it to go out to pick up a point. Not this time. 12-14. Malaysia still with a two-point cushion. Shuttle's gone out. 15. Oh. Malaysia picks up another point with a serve, of course. This is some radical play from the Malaysian pair, having a chance to kill, but didn't really kill at that point. Poor return, giving another point to Thailand. And of course, now the Thai pair bridging the gap, just two points between them. Poor return, losing a point to Thai, to the Thai pair, 14-15. They must reduce on their errors, the Malaysian pair, remember, they must win this game. Another misjudgment from the Malaysian. There was good judgment from the Malaysian. 17-14, Malaysia lead. Oh, oh. This time it's in on your left bottom screen. You can see a hand of the official pointing to the line, saying it's in, so Malaysia lose a point. It's 15-17 now, Thailand to serve. Oh, they were caught off guard, flat-footed. Very good play from the Thai player, Duang Anong Arun. Fooled both of them. 16-17, it's now 18-16 as Malaysia get another point. That didn't cross. So Malaysia are two points away from clinching this second game and giving themselves a chance for the rubber power smash from the tie good defensive play from malaysia sending it back to the base and that one really a good body shot to the tie from the malaysian pair game point game malaysia so the Malaysians have done well in the second game, giving themselves a chance to progress to the second round. Final game, Lavo, hey. Final game, whoever wins this, wins the match and moves on. One love. One love to Thailand, Thai to serve. Malaysians in black and white on your screens giving two easy points away at the start straight away to the Thai pair of Duang Anong Arun and Kunchala oh she could have killed it at the front of the net but she just didn't but it's a good return coming from the Thai player a change of shuttlecocks at 3-0 Three love for Thailand. Finally managed to kill that center court One, smash. Three. It appears that the overhead smash coming at the baseline from the Malaysian player just did not have enough power. It required a center court smash to kill that serve. Two, three. Forced error, or rather unforced error, for the Thai pair. Giving Malaysia a point to close the gap now, 2-3. Two, two. But immediately they lose it, and it's 4-2, back to the tie to serve. It's a race to 21. Looking at the scores, the first set 21-17-21, uh, 16-21. It's going to be a close fight. Wire to wire finish. 3-4. 
Seven Short over. service. Five, three. It's amazing how during practice you don't serve a short serve, but during a game you either serve it short or long. Right to the baseline, good return from the Malaysian pair. Baseline smash, not enough power. Could have killed it with a backhand smash, did not. And Malaysia made a mistake. Six, three. Three points behind the Thai pair now. The Malaysian pair of Lim Pek Xia and Cho Hui Yi. Well, the Thai pair returns the favor by sending it out on the right side of the Malaysian pair, giving them another point. Cushion now, two. Good drive. Good body shot. That looked like it was in. Five, six. And indeed, it is in. Five, six. Malaysia needs to close up the points very quickly, pull level, and then pull ahead. Can they do that? Backhand smash, no problem. Another smash. Good point. Seven, five. Baseline smash from the Malaysian side. Rather weak, easily returned. Jumping smash to the body. Finally gets it. Six, seven. Six, seven to Malaysia. Good smash from Cho. It's out. It's level now at seven. Round of 64, women's doubles. Just waiting for the pair. Which will it be? The ties or the Malaysian duo? Good smash inside. It's surprisingly so quiet in this indoor stadium with some four courts that you can hear the Malaysian pair communicate with each other. It's in. Nine, seven. After taking the lead at 8-7, Malaysia's Cho and Lim finally take a two-point cushion. Four. Ah, a body shot. Service over. Service over to Thai, to eight. Thailand's pair. Nine. It's 8-9. Malaysians were caught in a very bad position. You see both the players right at the centre court, too close to each other, allowing, well, for one, too much space around them in front and at the sides. And when you get a body smash like that, there's no way two players can return it. Nine, oh. Misjudgment from the Malaysian player, giving the ties another point to level at nine apiece. Ah, the smash is not effective, relinquishing the lead back to the ties, now Malaysia trail 9-10. Good gutsy display there, as she comes up. Drop shot. Body shot. Oh, she didn't. She just couldn't make it. Good gutsy display at the halfway mark there. That was Cho going for the kill and just releases her record in disgust. Disgusted at herself for failing to convert a point at the net when it was just there for her to grab it. After especially, especially after the wonderful display lunging right at the sidelines to return the shot. At the halfway mark, Malaysia's pair of Lim and Chor trail Thailand's pair of Arun and Kunchala. Okay. 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 
9-11, Malaysia spare trailing. This is coming through to you live on Astro Super Sport Channel 83. Tomorrow, in the World Badminton Championships, at 7 p.m. onwards, round of 32 starts live. On Wednesday, 7 p.m., round of 16. All the action brought to you live right here on Astro Super Sport. 11-9, Thailand to serve. Baseline smash, just a good body smash by Chaw this time. Converting a point, bringing it to 10. Chaw feigning a smash, and that's in. Oh. They pull to level. The Malaysian pair, courageous fight back over here after going down the first game, win the second game. Now they're at level. Everybody is fair. Fair score, fair play. A fair amount of good strategy. And a good play from Chaw once 11. again. Powering a drive to the body of the Thai player. This is like a race. The rally to 21 points. First the Thais take the lead, then Malaysia takes the lead and lose the lead and now they take the lead again. Lim sending it back. You could hear the frame of the record actually hitting the shuttle. Fortunate that the shuttle went to the baseline. Good rally here by both sides. Oh, power smash from the tie. Good return and good defensive play. Nice drop shot from the Malaysian. Ah, oh, but it looks like it was Chaw who was caught off guard after that wonderful, wonderful return with a drop shot. She just wasn't ready enough in time, rather, for the return. Perhaps thinking in her mind that the drop shot would end up with a point that her opponent would not be able to return. Well, wishful thinking there. Both sides need to do something really special to pull ahead it's been a very very close fight all the way question which of these two pairs will make it through to the round of 32 they're taking a short break for for them to get a breather out here before they return to do battle on court the ties serving now. You can hear the players talking to themselves or rather their partners. Good smash by Chaw at the back. Oh, that's a power smash from the tie. Unable to return that. Malaysia loses a point. And the ties are now ahead 13. 12. This is gripping stuff. Oh. Shout of out. And the Malaysians do get a point. Thirteen apiece. Allowed to go out by the Thai pair. Too much power from the Malaysian. Fourteen thirteen. 
Thailand takes the lead again. Service over. 14 oh. And Malaysia get another point. It's very interesting what the IBF said about the rally point system that's going to make it more exciting for TV viewers. This is coming true. Poor return there. Catching the net. Losing another point to the ties. It's 15-14. It's a rally to 21. This is the rubber set. Deciding one. The surveys by the ties looked a little short to me, but the Malaysians returned lucky to walk away with a point to draw a level at 15 apiece. Lim to serve. Oh, poor return from Cho or by Cho, right at the center court, giving her partner no chance whatsoever to return that center court smash from the ties. Service over. 16 all. 16 all. Five points to go. At least. Before we find a winner for this pair. Power smash. Good return there. Right to the baseline corner. Oh, and she just couldn't make it in time. Service over. Appeared like as if there was a little misunderstanding between the two. It looked as if Lim was going for it, then she stopped and Cho just couldn't get there in time. I wonder if Ying means smash. Good drive, a good return, good defensive play shown by the Thais. Now that they're on the offensive, it's the Malaysians who are on the defense. Smash. Still no power, not enough power to kill it. Oh, in the end, what a play. An unbelievable play in the end. Sometimes when you keep the rallies going at such a frenetic pace like this, I guess you drive your opponent crazy and that's what's happened to the Malaysian player. Just cannot keep up with the pressure. And she's made another error here to give another point away to the tie. So it's 19-16 with a tie pair just two points away from moving into the round of 32. It looks like Cho is the one who is making a lot of uncalled errors, unforced errors. Lim sending it back to the baseline, Cho also back to the baseline. The Malaysian pair defending now, having to send it all, to the, all the way to the baseline. Trying to get a chance to play net and perhaps get an interchange. Here's a chance to smash. And a good smash from Lim. Getting a point. It's 17-19. Two points to pool level. They have to at least pool level the Malaysian pair to have a chance to fight it out for this rubber set. Now the Malaysian pair has gotten the tie to defend. Good high shot there. It's Cho who's taking over at the back. Sending to the baseline. Malaysian pair defending and a little good fortune for the Thai pair as the shuttle hits the uh, tape of the net and still goes over. There's only one person who can take that shot. And his name is Superman. Well, 2017. It's game over. And it's the Thai pair who go through to the round of 32. Despite the gallant fight back from the Malaysian pair of Lim and Cho. It's the Thai pair of Duang Anong Arun and Kunchala Vora Wichit Chai Kul. 
making it through. Let's